I am Sinaya Ramtuda. I've been in Australia for two months so far and I will be here for another three years. When I first came to the university, I was quite impressed with the space and the environment because it's very sophisticated and conducive for learning. The international student community here at UNE Sydney is a small but growing community. We have recently begun offering courses to international students here. My name is Karan Beri and I hail from India. I am studying Bachelor in Business Accounting. When I came here, I just felt really good. For me, the teachers are very good. They are having very knowledge and the international student services are giving us all the facilities that an international student needs. An international student will apply to the institution, usually through the education agent, and the education agent will of course let them know what we need in terms of entry requirements. Once we've assessed the application, we then issue an offer letter to the student via the agent. The agents are, are kind of the middleman between the university and the the students who wants to go to overseas. Along with the offer letter, we also send students a copy of our enrolment guide, which is a self-help guide for students to enrol online. They will also receive a quote for overseas student health cover. We use a company called Boopa to issue these offers. Once a student has paid for their overseas student health cover, they've paid for their initial trimester's fees, and they've accepted their offer through UNE, we then issue a document called a Confirmation of Enrolment, or COE. This is the main document that students will then use to lodge their visa application. Most students will apply for a visa through their education agent, who are also very well versed in lodging the applications. When I got my confirmation of enrolment letter in the mail, I was pretty excited. Before I left India, if I had any questions, I could email the university. I asked them that what things I should like take for the orientation. Once the student has received a visa, they're then free, obviously, to book a plane ticket and come to Australia. The people in Australia are very kind-hearted and helpful. Actually, when I was in the airport, I was asking directions from people all around. <laughs> I mean, asking more like 10 to 20 people, like, let's do this, let's do <laughs> and then, but finally. It was my first time to far away from my home country and to land in some other country. I really felt great. And the, and the first thing that I had done was to call my parents because I was so excited. When students arrive at the International Terminal at Sydney Airport, they should follow the signs to the International Student Arrival Desk where they can get some more information on Sydney. They can then head towards the train station at the International Terminal and then buy an Opal card, which is the contactless payment system that all Sydney trains, buses and ferries use to get around. A ticket from the International Airport to Parramatta will cost around $25. This is because trains to and from the airport are more expensive than otherwise. I like the transportation of Australia. The main thing that I like is trains. They are very fast and they are comfortable. We recommend students arrive around two weeks before their course is due to start. There are a number of websites dedicated to helping international students find accommodation in Australia. Realestate.com.au is one that offers long and short term rentals for students. And there are also homestay options for students courtesy of the Australian Homestay Network. I live in an apartment which I found online and I get to the university by train. In winter it's actually very cold. I bought my winter clothes from here, my jackets and my coats. We recommend students pack clothing for all kinds of weather. We also recommend students bring all their travel necessities such as a passport, their overseas driver's license if they have one. And we also recommend students bring an international travel adapter for their appliances. It's important to bring Australian money with you, but if ever you forget, there is an ATM in the airport. Once students arrive in Parramatta, it's a very short walk to UNE Sydney, where we warmly welcome students and can assist them with logging into the UNE student portal, which is called Moodle, where they can access the UNE International Student Hub and complete the online component of their orientation. The International Student Services Officer helped me to log into the online hub. 
The staffs also at UNE are very welcoming and they give you like a sense of community and a sense of belonging. The making of friends was quite easy because we had like a small group and we interact often. Students also find that working part-time while you study isn't just a great way to make money, it's also a really good way to make friends and become a part of the wider community here in Australia. UNE can point students in the right direction, we have a list of all the websites that are available. I'm actually working in a restaurant, I've made some friends at my workplace and they're very nice. UNE in general offers a warm and welcoming environment for incoming students. There are many student support services that are available and the support staff here at UNE Sydney can help with all your administration needs.